Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Rotter Two Brief. Here is the 125 gallon, and I'm going to uh, have the fourth part of the sump extension. Hey Jack, what's going on? Okay, <clears throat> so check out parts one, two, and three on the experiments on the sump. I have one sump with two pumps going back to the tank. Here is the original sump here with all the tubes and the mess. Protein skimmer is doing a great job. Here is the 20 gallon aquarium I just got from Petco from the dollar per gallon sale. I'm connecting, I have an overflow going to the aquarium and then I have the pump connected, two pumps, one going to the left, one going to the right return from one sump. I removed the pump that was connecting both sumps. I calibrated it and balanced it perfectly I decided I wanted to have each sump separately. So now I have one overflow going through the purple tube into the sump on the left with a return pump. Also the same on this side except it's a white tube with a one pump going back to the uh, aquarium. The sumps now are completely separated the one on the left, using the ball valve shown here, is wide open. So we've got 100% flow coming down the purple tube into this aquarium, a lot of bubbles, which is awesome for oxygenation. The sump on the right had to be tweaked a little bit. Now watch how much I tweak it. Barely a millimeter, maybe a millimeter. I had to tweak it because the water was raising up a little bit. It was flowing in too much. So by tweaking it to the right, I'm closing the ball valve, allowing less water in the sump. Doesn't take a lot. One millimeter is all I needed. And it's going to stay there. So about five minutes later, this is where the water level stayed. That's very good. That's exactly where I want it. It's not moving. So now it's calibrated for the pump that's in this sump. So the water is coming in and flowing back into the aquarium at the same rate. Same with the other side. I really love this setup. This is just like having a 75 gallon aquarium with one sump and one pump. They're split. They don't need to be connected. If you've got dual overflows like this, they don't need to be connected. Each sump can work independently of each other. Certain forums, one in particular, said you cannot do this. Well, I just did. I've got a lot more flow coming out of the returns now.